everyone, thanks for joining me. These are messages from the person on your mind. If it's your message, then it will resonate with you. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, as always, so let's jump in and then I will look at your tarot cards in a moment, but I will begin with some oracle cards for you. I have a hard time trusting anyone. I'm doing just fine on my own. So this is someone who's like, I'm getting like a lone wolf energy. Uh, somebody who likes to keep um, people at arm's length, right? They may connect, they may have a social group, they may kind of be connected to you, but this is someone who has this kind of lone wolf energy, but this is because of their own trust issues, okay, with other people. So it's difficult for them. It's a challenge. I feel like it's one of their life lessons to uh, learn how to open their heart and how to trust, okay? forgiving and learning so it may be that the case that there is some forgiveness needed from uh in your person like uh forgiving someone from their past this is really going to help them to trust and open up more is what i'm hearing or it could be that there needs to be forgiveness between you both for whatever reason so but definitely a learning opportunity you know some spiritual growth as a result of uh, this connection as a result of meeting one another let's see worth the wait this is from the myth and fire oracle deck one of the lumiere decks if you're interested they're linked below so spirit is really saying yeah you may be asked to be patient your person may have asked you to be patient but this is someone who is capable of growth who is capable of learning these spiritual lessons that we were talking about so it's really saying i mean i would never say put your life on hold for somebody you want to be invested in yourself and working towards your own goals and dreams but there is this pot of gold at the end of the rainbow there is like a reward for your patience for the understanding and the compassion that you're extending to this person so um that is nice let's see what else is going on for you Wow, I see like some disagreements, maybe some drama between you and your person. I feel like they've really been trying to like um, push past your boundaries, like get things by you, okay? So maybe you've been like, this is my boundary. I don't do this. This isn't okay with me. And then they're just like testing you. Like, is he for real? Is she for real? Do they mean what they say? Do you mean what you say? That's what I'm hearing. Do you mean what you say? So there is this energy of like testing you to see if you mean what you say. So the boundaries that you have or the boundaries that you've asserted, it's like they're trying to test you, okay? To see if you are true to your word. Very interesting. So that is a, a, a test of our own boundaries. You know, are they steel? Are they made out of steel? Are they solid or are they elastic? Right, elastic boundaries are no good. So there's something here where they feel, it feels like they're testing your boundaries. Okay, let's see what else. <clears throat> I see Pisces energy here. I see Aquarius, Libra energy, Taurus energy as well. Leo, Sag showing up. So quite a few to choose from here is what I'm seeing. I feel like there's something here where they, they see that you're an enigma. They see like, they feel like you're a little bit of a mystery to them. I see them like really looking up to you. I see like you are like a good match. I see a divine masculine and a divine feminine here in this connection, but you're slightly different people. Like you've got different love languages. You see life through a slightly different lens. It's not necessarily... Um, it's not that it isn't complimentary because I think that it is, but you are very different people. You may not look like you're a couple or you may come from very, very different backgrounds or life circumstances, but they're looking up at you and they see your worth. They see your value, right? Is what I'm sensing. They see you as somebody who's very much a mystery to them. Maybe you're keeping yourself to them yourself or they like... They're confused by your boundaries. They're like, oh, I don't understand what's going on here. I've not met anybody like this. Everybody else has been a doormat. Everybody else has had elastic boundaries, right? But that is only increasing your worth in their eyes. 
very beautiful. So they feel very strongly about you. They feel very passionate about you. They're really drawn to you, okay? They see you as golden. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, I feel like they're not expressing their emotions. They feel like this is a, a, a renewal of a love that you had in a past life with this person. So if you look into this person's eyes and you feel like you've known them forever or like you can see like whole worlds or galaxies in, in their eyes, this is why. Because you're picking up something that you left off in a previous incarnation, okay? So there is that there, um, is what I'm seeing. Um, for some of you, they may want to unite with you or reunite with you, like some sort of reunion, and they're very keen to do this, but um, they may not be able to find an opportunity to kind of make that happen because perhaps you're not talking to one another or you're ignoring them or you kind of, they don't have access to your energy, something like that is what I'm seeing. Um, soulmate energy here. Um, so they do have love in their heart for you. It's very potent. It's very powerful. But it feels like they're not really expressing themselves. They're not really talking about how they're feeling, talking about their emotions, uh, or taking any action. But within them, they're drawn to you. They're drawn to you like a moth to a flame. They want to come towards you, okay? Um, they want to make you some sort of offer. The love that they have for you may be, uh, it's very pure, and it may be that it's um, a little bit naive in a way. Um, but it feels like, when they're with you, it feels like coming home. It feels like security to them. It feels solid. And so, of course, they want to be with you. Of course, they're drawn to you. And yet, it seems like they're either you know, staying silent, not talking to you, not doing anything about it, but within their own energy field, um, there is this desire for you to take action, to be with you. A lot of lust, like sexual chemistry here. And like this, looking for a chance. Let's see. There's something about you which is a little bit triggering for them. Again, there's these trust issues. They're just like, can I trust you? And it isn't because you're not trustworthy. It's because um, they have like misconceptions about people. People are dangerous. People can hurt me. I can get hurt, right? I can be wounded. So it's just like, can I trust you? And they're trying, they're on the fence about it. They're trying to decide, like, am I going to trust this? person am I going to trust you and they're on the fence about it they want to but they're finding it difficult like we were talking about because and that's their insecurity okay so they look at you and they see someone who has the power the capacity to hurt them right if they open their heart to you this is what they see but their love for you is genuine it's very pure they do have feelings for you but it is tempered by this fear of getting hurt and particularly of being cheated on right and I feel that could be that that is something that happened to them in the past that somebody betrayed them that somebody cheated them okay and they're having a hard time letting go of that and not uh, you know an understanding that not everybody is the same and that you aren't the same okay There's this energy with you where you need to make a decision about whether or not you want to be with them. I feel like you are in this energy of being in two minds. Like on the one hand, you're just like, yes, I'm attracted to you, that yes, this is a good, uh, there's potential here, there's opportunity, but you cannot fall in love with potential. So I feel like you're two people who aren't on the same page. I feel like you're on the defensive a little bit, like you're defending yourself against like this accusation. Sorry, I've got a hair stuck in my lip gloss, it's driving me mad. Um, yeah, you're defending yourself against this implication or accusation of just like, um, I don't know, 
showing somebody else attention or um, still talking to your ex or um, sharing your energy with somebody else or just their fear. And it's just like all the time you're reassuring them. You don't need to worry. You don't need to worry. I've only got eyes for you. I'm only into you. This is all I want, blah, blah. And so there's this energy where you're on the back foot and you feel like you're having to defend yourself all the time. And it feels very draining in that respect. So this is kind of putting you at odds with this person. And it feels like you're in this energy of being in two minds of like, yes, I want this. But on the other hand, I don't want to have to always... Uh, be reassuring them or always defending myself against these empty accusations because it makes me it makes me feel disconnected from you you feel disconnected from this person yeah they want to come towards you so much Right? They want to make you an offer of love, they want to but they're afraid of getting hurt. Right? The thing that's holding them back is this heart wound where they've been cheated on in the past or somebody has hurt them in the past. For some of them it could be a childhood wound but I feel like this is a prior relationship. I'm hearing that it could have been like a broken engagement or something like this as well or just like quite a serious relationship or someone that they were serious about. For some of them they may have been quite young. Um, and that's when the wound was formed. Okay, so they want to come towards you, but they're afraid of getting hurt. But I still see them like making progress. What I'm hearing from spirit is they're making progress. They're taking it a step at a time. They want to be in their comfort zone. They want to feel safe, but they do want to build something with you. And they're taking it a step at a time, but it's always got to be within their comfort zone because this wounding really holds them back or really um, makes them cautious is what I want to say doing that but they definitely it's like they're going to do it anyway it's this energy of feel the fear and do it anyway yeah they may be afraid to make these moves they may be afraid to shoot their shot because within them they have this heart wounding but um it could also be that they're very they're feeling like uh very hurt about like where things are at with you at this time like like that they're finding this quite painful, uh, the energy that you're currently in. But despite all this, or despite this heart wound, I see them just taking steps towards you. They want to come towards you with love. They want to make an offer. They want to build something with you. They want to see where this goes, right? That's what I'm sensing. Let's see um, what we have for you. Marriage. Look at that, long-term potential. They see you as someone that has a lot of potential for a long-term relationship, for something that is very serious, for a higher level commitment. Look, I've got like 40 decks out here and out of all those decks, this is the card that I've pulled for you. So this is definitely leading towards a higher level of commitment. They may kind of realize that they can't live without you. Um, right, it may be the case that you do pass these tests that they've been you know, testing out to see, you know, what you're made of, you know, if you're serious, just testing to see who you are, okay, um, there is a, you know, I feel like you're in this energy where, you know, there is a little bit of mystery as to what's going to happen for the future, like, and that's the energy that you're in right now, but I see them being able to kind of heal this wound or leave this energy behind them, realizing that, yeah, they did offer somebody love in the past and it didn't work out and it did hurt them, but that doesn't have to be their future and that they want to move on from that now. And they do, this is someone who wants to create something solid for the future with you, okay? Something that has got long-term potential. So uh, marriage, higher level commitment coming out in your reading. So very beautiful. Those are all the messages that I have for you today. Thank you for being here with me. I've loved being here with you. If you want to get a personal reading to have your personal questions answered in your situation, I recommend Keen. You can get a 10 minute reading for just $1.99. It's a really amazing deal. And they offer a satisfaction guarantee. So it's a win-win situation. If you are not happy with your reading for whatever reason, then you can get another reading absolutely for free. So yeah, go on, head on over to Keen and uh, have a personal reading with a five-star psychic of your choice. That deal is linked in the description box, but I'm sending you love and I hope to see you soon. Take care.